Welcome, welcome everybody. Neil McVeigh here from Domino Arcade. Hope you're well, hope you're feeling good. Listen to our new podcast, me and Scott, uh, the Great British Football Podcast. You can find it on your uh, usual podcast places. Um, okay, I'm going to do a bit of a run-up of Domino Arcade. What's changed, what's new. Uh, not a lot's new, actually. A few games moved around. Uh, actually, talking to Scott, he's refurbishing, regenerating, recreating my theatre magic. New playfield, new cabinet, the whole shooting match. So, really looking forward to getting that. So, Batman's in its place. Uh, it's still a brilliant game, Lemon Sheets. George Gomez. I actually played this in the league the other night and loved every minute of it. Such a great game. Foo Fighters, Jack Danger. Um, a great, great, great game. I know a lot of people whining about code availability. Chill out, take a seat. Stern never let us down on code availability. They always nail it, and this will be this game will be no different. So just be patient and uh, enjoy it. And we got two other glorious Lime and Sheet games: uh, Brian Eddy and George Gomez again. Uh, Attack from Mars and Monster Bash. Just, just amazing games. Uh, the best games are the the, the the William Vera in my view. Then we have a very special game. You can hear Bond in the background. This is the Stern 007 60th Anniversary Edition. It's a single level game designed by Keith Elwin. And Keith really nailed this. It's such a great game. If you're an old classics, especially a Stern electronics fan, you will love this game. And even if you're not, you'll love it anyway. Yeah, it's got a, an expensive price tag. Let me tell you, it was worth every freaking penny. And I've got more than one of these games, so um, you know the, the, the haters that uh, that moan about this game, uh, you're missing out. Go play it; it's brilliant. This game will be in the UK Open uh, main bank. Uh, come and see it be played by um, some great players and some okay players. Uh, moving on, another Lime and Sheets glorious game again. Brian Eddy, Medieval Madness, probably one of the best games of all time. Uh, I love it. This is. Uh, the remake, uh, and I've got Walking Dead, the only game I don't have a topper for, actually that's not true, Foo Fighters I don't have a topper for, Stern, send me a Walking Dead topper, I'm a great customer, you've got one in the cupboard, please send me one, I will love you very much, this is the LE with the Blood Armor, my favourite game, another Lyman Sheets game, uh, John Borg and Lyman just did a great a masterpiece here, I really believe in the future this game will be looked at as a, as a, as a, as a game that really changed pinball in terms of rules and code and shots. Um, then we got X-Men LE, another board game, uh, fantastic game, and in the corner, Steve Ritchie game, um, Star Trek, again, I'm a big Star Trek fan, and uh, nothing's changed here, but this is, uh, these two games are just such a lot of fun. X-Men and the UK Open Bank. Uh, here, this is all the uh, streaming gear for um, the UK Open, it's insane. We've got two rigs, we've got loads of cameras, we've got screens, just an insane amount of stuff. Uh, we got Mando and, and Grogu up there, and then we got James Bond LE, the the, the regular James Bond. This is such a good game. Uh, I want to say the guys writing the code, Mike Vicor and, and um, the, the rest of the Stern team, Lonnie, absolutely nailed the code on this game. Love playing it. I played it at uh, UK Pinfest and really enjoyed every minute of it. There's something about a pinball match game when you're playing it and you feel comfortable playing it. And honestly, guys, you guys have totally nailed this. So well done. Uh, Mandalorian, uh, another great game. Brian Eddy, um, just absolutely a huge amount of fun. Really feels like you're a Mandalorian episode again. Not a new game, but I love it. Um, Black Knight, we got Lord Steve in the corner there, keeping an eye on us all. Um, you know, lots of people don't like this game but I love it it's just I honestly feel like I need a holiday after I've played it uh, Stranger Things lots of rumours about Stranger Things is it going to be a new code is it going to be another rerun I think there'll be a rerun new code I doubt it but you never know Led Zeppelin another Richie game absolutely amazing um, lots of people moan about this game those people typically haven't played it um, so go play it there's one in Pinball Republic a premium there uh, that is fantastic to play go into Pinball Republic PinballRepublic.com and um, it's in Croydon in London you can you can play it because you're 15 quid to get in and you can play as much pinball as you like uh, Iron Maiden Keith Elwin's first game just a staggeringly great game with uh, okay music but luckily I've fixed that with Disco uh, Jurassic Park just put the new code on with um, 
the 30th anniversary edition. I haven't really had a chance to play it much, but uh, looking forward to that. Avengers, not a lot of change there. Um, just a, a brilliant game. I again, I love playing it. Godzilla, well, you know, what hasn't been said about Godzilla? I got um, the Tokyo mod from uh, Stumbler in there. Everyone should have that in the game. For extension, phone Dave and make it an official accessory. It's so good. And then we got Deadpool, Elvira, um, and uh, Turtles. Again, another great set of games. Lots of people say, oh, Neil the 90s was a golden era pinball. Absolute horseshit. This, right now, is the golden era pinball. And we're lucky to be part of it. So get out there and play some of these new games. Don't get me wrong, there's some great, great classic games like Medieval. Uh, I love Stern Classics and Ballet Classics as well, but we are living in a great pinball era right now and one day it won't be there so make the most of it and go out and play pinball at your local arcade um, or come and see the experts play at the UK Open uh, at the end of September um, what, what an amazing uh, time for pinball right now and um, with that I'll bid you farewell and wish you well but go out there and get some pinball played and enjoy. This is Neil McCray, I'm at the Domino Arcade. Take care of yourselves, folks.